smile. Oh, wow, that is not your best side, Shark. It's okay. I won't show this to your friends. Where did you... Ah, that's where you're hiding. What is that? What on earth? Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seven. Three hundred and seventeen. Three hundred eighteen. Three hundred and nineteen. Aunt, have you seen my camera? I've seen many things in this room, Fontaine. Some I never see again. Uh-huh. You know, you could actually clean this mess. I could, but I like mysteries. And currently, my room holds mysteries. It also holds smells. Mystery smells. Hey, be careful with that! Ah! Uh, and? I'm okay. Lucky you landed on your head instead of something important. Wait, that fall dislodged the memory. Mom borrowed your camera. Well, if Mom has my camera, then at least I know it's in good hands. What were you even doing up there? This isn't another one of your dumb grow faster schemes, is it? I've grown another centimeter in the last week alone. Ugh. With just a two centimeter margin of error. I'll probably be the tallest in the family before you know it. Come in! Mom? Ah! Mom, you're breaking up. Say again. They're closing in. Deadly. Mom, what's closing in? They're alive. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. Come on, where are you, Kiko? <laughs> I'm trying to locate your mother's communicator, but I can't get a signal. What was the last thing she said before you lost contact? Something about deadly. And then she said they're... alive? Hmm. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Nothing. If Mom took my camera with her, we could check to see if the photos were being uploaded automatically. Then use them to locate her. Good thinking, Fontaine. Commencing sonar grid search. Wait! What is that? A chasm? If that's where she is, then she's close. But we can't fit in that opening with our knights. We have our location. Let's move! Mom, are you reading us? We're coming! Let's go! Huh? I need you to stay here and mind the boat, Ant. Uh, I'm not a stayer by nature. Your mother used the word deadly, so until I know exactly what's down there... You're too small, Ant. I am not small! I've possibly grown a full centimeter! Wow. Amazing. I'll call you both when and if it's safe. If I get into trouble, do not follow me, okay? This is definitely the spot. Come in, Keiko. Keiko, are you there? Keiko! What's that? Dad, can you see Mom? No, but I can see something incredible. What is it, Dad? What do you see? Unbelievable. Dad? It's some kind of ancient temple structure. Possibly Greek. 
Though I've never seen statues quite like these before. Could it be a Lemurian? I'm not sure. Keiko, are you here? Please come in. There's an inscription here. Definitely ancient Greek. To all who enter here uninvited, beware the sentinels. Huh? This place is booby-trapped. Kids, don't come down here. Kids! Say again, Dad? You're breaking up. Come down here. He needs us. Aunt, I don't think that's... Ugh. Aunt, wait! Kiko. Are you in there? Whoa, huh? creepy. Hey, Fontaine, this place is unstable. What are you doing down here? Uh, you called. I called to tell you this place is booby-trapped. I want you and your sister to head back to the boat right now. Uh, but booby traps are surefire evidence of deep-sea mysteries. And don't touch anything. That huh? goes for all of us. The statue shield. It moved. Or maybe it was just a reflection off my mask. <laughs> oh, Fontaine. Scared of a statue. We all know statues don't move. See? Nothing to worry about. There, again. Huh? Ah! Ah! Will! Keiko! Mom! Has anyone been stung? Stung? Yes. The shields are covered in huge, poisonous stonefish! Into the temple, quick! There are no stonefish inside. <laughs> Don't let them cut you off. They'll try to surround you. We'll be safe in here. For now. But why? Why aren't they... Following? I think it's to do with light. The entrance to the chasm out there is so narrow that sunlight only reaches down here for a few hours. So, unlike normal stonefish, these guys have evolved, over centuries maybe, to sleep when it's dark and hunt when it's light. Which means that right now, when there's a bit more cloud cover... It's bedtime. Okay, might not get another chance at this. Let's go! Dad, look! Oh, no. We're not gonna make it. Back into the temple! Those stonefish. So pushy. Is it worth radioing for help? Well, we didn't hear much of your first call. Then nothing after that. <sighs> after that, it was behind several meters of stone walls. Maybe if I get closer to the entrance. Mayday, Mayday. This is Will Necton of the Aranax. Does anyone read? This is Will Necton of the Aranax. I repeat, Mayday. <laughs> Aranax is probably the only vessel for a hundred miles. If the stonefish don't like the dark, why don't we just wait here till nightfall? That won't be for another five hours. And our rebreathers will barely make it past two. So, we need to make the sunset come faster. Hmm? hmm? Using what, Ant? A time machine? Uh, no. By using the Aranax to cover the crack and block out the sun. All we need to do is use the Aranax's remote piloting system. That would be a great idea if the Aranax had a remote piloting system. Oh, right. If just one of us could get up there to pilot the Aranax... I'll do it! Uh-uh-uh. No, you won't. Hmm. Dad's gonna say you're way too small. Am not!
your sister's right end. I know you've possibly grown a whole centimeter, but those fish have enough venom to paralyze a fully grown adult. <sighs> Stupid facts. I'm the strongest swimmer and the hardest to paralyze. Imagine if there was a sporting event that combined those two things. My point is, it has to be me. Will, look. The light's gone. The cloud cover must have returned. It's now or never. Mom, I know, Fontaine, but your father didn't win Olympic medals for trampoline. What? Uh, Mom! Keiko! Don't panic. I'm okay. <gasps> well, I think I'm okay, but my arm is stuck. Did I say not to touch anything? It's booby-trapped. Well, no one told me. It's not budging. <laughs> Will? Dad! Okay, no more touching anything, starting now. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Will, your leg! Huh? Oh, not good. Stung by the box jellyfish? Uh, worse. Oh, more like those sea urchin spines? Like both of those put together. Uh, ah. We need to reduce your dad's pain. If we could just heat the wound, I could use my laser cutter. To cut his leg off? To heat the stone block under his leg for warmth. Huh. Okay. That's a less terrible idea. The stonefish. They're attracted to the light of the laser. Shut it down, Fontaine. I'll manage. Ow! Ow! Easy there. <sighs> the spines didn't go that deep. It could have been a lot worse. If we don't get some anti-venom soon, Keiko, you know it will be a lot worse. Guys! Stone! But there's no light in here. Get behind me. Wait, Mom! Cease flipper attack! <gasps> Jeffrey! No way. But how did he even get in here? Uh, unless... Unless he found another way in! Oh, good boy, Jeffrey! He's not a dog, Ant. I know! He's even better. He's a fish! Ugh. Okay, guys. Find out where Jeffrey entered the temple. It may be our only chance of getting out of here. No, we're not leaving you alone. I'll only slow you down. You can come back for me when the Aranex is safely blocking the light. Your father's right, Fontaine. Hang in there, Will. We'll find another way out. <sighs> Lead the way, Jeffrey. Mom, what exactly do you think this place is? I'm not sure. These walls look like they might be made of gold. Oh, how come no one's ever found this place? The chasm entrance is tiny. And if anyone or anything did manage to swim in here, well, let's just say those stonefish don't take prisoners. Just keep swimming, Jeffrey. Show us where you... Whoa, oh. Is it? It's a coffin. Not quite the omen I was hoping for. I get it. This is a booby trap tomb designed to trap tomb robbers. Awesome! You and I have very different definitions of awesome. Who can afford to be buried in a solid gold coffin? 
It says, here lies the Great One. May he always walk in the light. Remember King Midas? Everything he touched turned to gold? But no one's ever discovered where his tomb was. Oh, you think that the Great One in the light. If they wanted light, they should have added a few windows. With all the gold surfaces, I think this room was designed to be illuminated. Whoa, amazing. When the sun is in the right position. And that's our exit. It leads out. Will? I can hear you. I'm gonna head up to the jet boat from here. Anton Fontaine will come back to you. And wait, wait, wait. I'm not going, but that exit is tiny. It's not that small. I can easily... Okay, Ant. It's up to you. I'm on my way. Ant! Stop! The stonefish are everywhere. If you're gonna have any chance, I'll have to create a diversion first. Designed to be illuminated. King Midas was both charmed and cursed by gold. I think I have an idea. Dad, duck! It's working! It go! I'm going! I'm going! Hey, like ants to a picnic! Keep going, Ant! Don't look back! On it! Ant, are any stonefish following? Not one! They didn't even notice me! Well, you are very small. What? He is. Uh-oh. The battery. It's dead. Ant, tell me you're at the exit. Almost. Why? <laughs> Come on! Take your battery out now. Swim for it, Jeffrey! Let it go. Here, take this one. Come on! <gasps> what was that? Another booby trap? We're good. Stay focused. something again, didn't they? Uh, technically, no. The temple is collapsing. We have to go now. And if you can hear us, swim! Whoa. This is more than a booby trap. No kidding! Mom! Just keep going! Just keep getting better! Well, time to go. <laughs> Stonefish. We'll take our chances. Well, that was too close. The statues are turning. We have to swim for it. Move, move, move! Oh, no. Look! Ant's flippers. Will, did you see if Ant made it out all right? No. I didn't see. No. Ant! We're surrounded. Whoa! Unbelievable. 
here next, the Nectons. Uh, this is your captain speaking. Is everything okay down there? Your timing is impeccable. You look much better, Will. Thanks. The antitoxin is working just fine. Do we think that really could have been the tomb of King Midas himself? Didn't take any chances. Guarded by water, stonefish, and booby traps. Warning beacon launched! That should keep recreational divers away from here. What message is it broadcasting again? Danger! Stonefish nest! It's a bit... short. But effective. Short and effective. Perfect combo if you ask me. You're deluded. So are we to take it you've given up on your attempts to grow faster, Ant? Yeah, after all, if it wasn't for the smallest member of this crew, who else would have saved the day? Okay, Ant, we get it. Thank you for saving us. Not me. Jeffrey, say thank you. <laughs> I don't thank fish. It's like a rule I live by. She'll thank you later, Jeffrey. Ah, uh, I won't, you know. She will. I promise I won't. Ah, she'll melt eventually, Jeffrey. No one can resist those eyes of yours. <laughs>